Hello and welcome to a special effects tutorial from Aroha Media. At the end of this tutorial, we'll learn how to create and animate factory smoke in Flash. The techniques we'll use in this tutorial are creating a symbol, working with gradients, shape twin, and shape hints. So, are you ready? First of all, open an existing Flash file named background by pressing Ctrl plus O. We have already seen how to create smoke in our previous tutorial. This illustration is specifically meant to teach how to work on factory smoke. Further, we'll be applying the same for car smoke as well. So the basic drawing is ready with you in the open file. The illustration contains three layers. Insert a new layer above the second layer. Other layers are locked. Draw a rectangle object as a chimney for smoke. Delete its outline. Increase its size to get inside the chimney. Now we are editing the shape of rectangle. We are increasing the height of this inserted rectangle till it crosses the boundary of the blue colored outermost rectangle. This will have effective animation of smoke. Watch and follow the video properly to acquire perfect shape and size. We are adding few corners and changing its shape just as we had done in the first tutorial of smoke. The shape will be narrow in size at the bottom and as it moves upwards, it will broaden. Watch the video with concentration. Try to recall the points of first tutorial of smoke. Select the smoke shape. Open the color palette. Shift plus F9. Choose linear option from the gradient tab. We'll be using the same blue gradient color as shown on the screen. Rotate it with the help of the gradient transform tool. Shortcut F. Since it is factory smoke, the color should contain more black. In other blue color, select sky blue from background and make its alpha value 0. Can you find the difference? It is looking like smoke, but right now it's on one frame only. Go to the 25th frame and add a frame on all the layers including the smoke layer and add a keyframe. Create shape twin. Now go to the first key. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus H to add shape hints. At the beginning, we are adding two hints A and B at the bottom. Now add C and D and place them as shown on the screen. Let's preview the animation. You can see the animated smoke. Increase the length of the frame to lower the speed of the smoke. Check the effect with preview. Now add one more layer. Copy the smoke's key on this layer. To duplicate the smoke, we have simply copied the first key of the shape and dragged it by pressing Alt on the new layer. This creates a duplicate layer. Remove the shape twin on this layer. Let's match the shape with chimney according to its size. Understand that we have copied only the first key and not the complete animation. We are changing the shape of the smoke according to the size and shape of the chimney. Now go to the 50th frame and add a keyframe. Create Shape Twin. Add Hints. 
we are using the same hints created for the earlier layer. Observe the movement of the mouse pointer carefully. The color of the hint is changing to yellow. The hint in red color after placement indicates that it is not matched properly with the corner. In this case, check and match it properly. See this smoke is also animating. Both the smokes are looking different in spite of the first smoke being reused. Check with preview. You can see that the timings of the movement of the smokes is also different because we have added separate shape hints. Close the preview. Let's proceed further. Copy all the frames by right clicking. Insert a new layer. Now duplicate the key on the new layer by pressing Alt. Convert this smoke shape into symbol. Go inside this symbol by double clicking on it. Paste copied frames here by right clicking and select Paste Frames or using the shortcut keys Ctrl plus Alt plus V. You can see the hints that are invoked with copied frames. Position those hints as shown in the video. Go to the last key. Change the position of the upper hints to animate the smoke. Experiment and reposition the hints if required. We have done all this inside the symbol. Come out of the symbol. Place this symbol on the layer at the right position. Specify loop value 15. You can observe in the preview that this smoke's timing is totally different from the previous one. How has this happened? It's because of copying all the frames inside the symbol. Due to this, the timing of each smoke can be changed. We'll be applying the same technique to a third smoke also. Copying frames inside the smoke symbol will help in assigning different timings of each smoke because the movement of all the smokes will not start from the first frame. It will get started from different frames. Close the preview. Now duplicate the second shape symbol by pressing the Alt key and placing it on the third chimney. We are stretching this shape with free transform tool to apply some variation. The shortcut key for this is Q. Go to its properties. Set loop at 25th frame. You can see the variation in animation due to change in time though the object was duplicated. We can experiment more. Stretch both the smoke shapes. Check the changes. Go to properties and change the time. Make 5 for the second shape and 30 for the last shape. You can see the difference in their movement in preview. Close the preview. Squeeze a bit. Such experiments we may need to repeat till we gain the satisfactory effects. Watch the video and mouse pointers carefully. You can see different results from the previous one. Now we are making some changes inside the smoke symbol of the third chimney. Can you observe the changes we are applying to this last symbol are getting reflected in the second chimney's smoke shape also. Why so? Right, because it's a duplicate symbol and we are working inside the symbol. And copy the first key. Select the last keyframe and remove it. Match the hints as done before. Observe the video properly. Follow the mouse pointer on the screen. You can see its movement is different than the others. Check the preview. Close it. Come out of the symbol. Now we are going to add the same kind of smoke for a car. We'll not be reusing the previously made smoke, but we'll be creating a new one for the car. Insert a new layer. Add a rectangle at the car. Convert it to a symbol. Change its name. Go inside the symbol. Delete the outline. We are changing the gradient color to dark gray. Add the edges. Create the shape of the smoke just like we did before. You can see this shape is totally different from the previous one.
go to the tenth frame, add a keyframe. Insert shaped win. Fill with a gradient. Now add four shape hints. Place all four hints as shown. See here, something is going wrong because shapes A and B got flipped. If the direction of shape hints goes wrong, it affects the animation. On preview, we can see the car smoke. So with the use of shape hints, we created four smokes, three of factory chimney and of a car with variations. You can experiment for more variations by changing size, shape, timing and positioning of shape hints. So try creating smokes with different variations and become very good at animating smoke. Wish you all the best. Thank you.